I'm going to actually give you a look at the comet's orbit as it's traveling through the solar system. So here we are, and now we can actually go back in time. As you can see here down in the corner, this is the date. Uh, the closest approach to the sun was about uh, on July 3rd here. And if you look, you can see all the planets, Earth, Venus, Mercury, and here's the comet. You can see it got really close to the sun indeed. It's, it's crossing about as close to the sun as the orbit of Mercury, so quite close indeed. Now, as we go forward in time, we can see here, uh, with each passing day, it's, uh, it's actually getting closer to the Earth. Uh, so if you look down here, you can see that's an astronomical unit. That's the distance between the Earth and the Sun. Or rather, um, one astronomical unit is the distance between the Earth and the Sun. And you can see here, it's starting to get quite close. So uh, by the time we get to, I believe, looks like the 23rd here, we've reached our closest approach to the Earth. And you can see the comet is, is kind of passing uh, right over top of the Earth. Not that there's any up and down in space, but <laughs> you can kind of see the geometry here. It's, it's passing this way, this direction. And fortunately for us, it's, uh, it's staying nice and far away, close enough that we can get a very good look at it with our telescopes and with our eyes, but uh, far enough away that uh, we don't have anything to worry about from this object.